a running HD golden moment and performances that will forever be etched in the history of the sport. The 11th New York City Marathon. October 26, 1980. The latest styles in cold weather running gear appear on Staten Island. The temperature, 40 degrees. The wind, gusting to 35 knots out of the west. An inch and a half downpour during the night has crushed everything but spirits. Only a round-the-clock job by New York City sanitation and traffic crews has kept the course free from water. Line up here for final check-in. Race director Fred LeBeau supervises. Fred is president of the New York Roadrunners Club, the group that puts on the marathon. Alazar accelerates and drops Gomez. He is averaging 4.57 per mile. He's smooth as glass. He's in total control of himself. He's got a half a block lead on Rodolfo Gomez from Mexico. When they turn into the park, it seems like the wind might be in their face. It's Salazar, Salazar, Salazar. Alberto Salazar, known as the rookie at the Greater Boston Track Club, running international competitions since he's been 15 years old. And this guy's got talent. A former NCAA cross-country champion. Alberto Salazar, 22 years old, born in Cuba a member of the United States 1980 Olympic team at 10,000 meters. Before the race, Alberto made two predictions, that he would beat Bill Rogers at his own game, that he would run under 210. At 25 miles, Alberto is on his way to the fastest first time marathon in history. El Salazar, now coming into view, he's got a good shot to be under 210. I can't tell you how unbelievable 